so now we're going to start calculating the minimum infusion rates. Um, you will see the drug references say maybe given IV over 15 to 30 minutes. Um, some things need to be given over a minimum of 60 minutes just because they are so toxic, particularly to the kidneys, vancomycin, amphotericin, and things like that. So most of the hospitals that we work with have smart pumps, and we will play with one of those in medication simulation, where you literally just put in the volume over the time that you want, and the pump will calculate the math. But there are staff nurses that will question you and want you to be able to figure the math out themselves. So to calculate a minimum infusion rate, we take our volume to be infused over the time to infuse. And then we multiply that by um, 60 minutes in an hour, because these are in milliliters, and this is in minutes. So we will end up with milliliters per hour, which is how we would program the pump if the pump didn't do, do it for ourselves. So let us say that we have um, 40 milliliters. And it says, must be infused over 15 to 30 minutes. Well, the fastest it can go, if it can go over 15 minutes, we would set that pump at 15 goes in there, four times, 40 times four, we set that pump at 160 milliliters an hour, and within 15 minutes, our 40 milliliters would be infused. If we have one of those medications that needs to go over two hours, that's 120 minutes, and there's 60 minutes in an hour. Forty divided by two. This is going to go much slower. We're going to set that pump at twenty milliliters an hour, and then in a two-hour period, we would infuse our forty milliliters. Most of the pumps that we do use in pediatrics now, though, are referred to as smart pumps, and they are pre-programmed to calculate this for you. However, um, should you do medical missions, you might not be able to use smart pumps because you use what you're given. You might not even have a pump, and you'll have to go back to figuring out how many milliliters, how many drops per minute. But um, for pediatrics in the Bay Area, nobody is counting drops per minute. So you don't need to be worrying about that. The drops per minute are not on the test.